I got a chance to stop by the real real to see what new Hermes and Chanel bag they have. I'm taking you with me and I will be sharing all the price details as well. Let's get right into the video. First, let me show you the Hermes Special Order Birkin 25 here. It's a 2021 special order in the ostrich leather, gold-plated hardware. The bag includes full set and is currently retail for 40,000 in the real real. That's right, 40,000. So the price is because of the leather and also the fact that it's a special order. The color combo is not my cup of tea personally, but what do you think of this as a B25. As many of you may be aware that the pre-loved market is booming due to the current still limited inventory, some of you mentioned to me that you saw more people are getting quota bags since the beginning of the new year. I'm not sure if the inventory has gotten better cause after all I'm in the city of San Francisco. How about your city? Did you get any bags in the new year so far? That's why while I'm waiting for my bags, I'm always Always so happy to see some bags that I don't get a chance to see in person. They are just so beautiful to look at and they make me so happy. My favorite wall here is their Hermes wall. It's full of Birkins, Kellys, and Constance. What a dream come true. Which one are you eyeing right now? Can we just have them all? I spotted some amazing Birkins in the Salier style and I'll definitely take a close look and try them on for you. This one is a 2021 Birkin Salier in size 25 and absent leather in the gold color. It comes in full set and in the pristine condition. It does look really perfect. Oh my goodness, your girls, this bag is just so, so, so perfect. I'm afraid that this video doesn't do its justice here. If my essay from the Hermes Boutique offered me this bag, I would take it in no second. You probably guessed that this bag is currently retail for $34,000 in the pre-loved market. I'm not too surprised after monitoring the pre-loved market for this long time. For now, let's just admire how beautiful the Birkin 25 Salier is. By the way, I love the contrasting stitching and it reminded me so much of my Calic 25 in the Salier style. I totally see its structured look of the Salier Birkin. I personally feel that even with the structured look, you can still wear something very casual. I feel it's a very versatile bag and it can certainly go with a lot of my outfits. What about you? Do you prefer the traditional return look or the more modern Salier? look on the B25. Etang is another beautiful neutral color from Hermes. So this is the Hermes Birkin 25 from the 2021 collection in the Togo leather and the palladium hardware. It's in the traditional return style. As you can see, it's more relaxed, casual, and slouchier compared to the Salier style from earlier today. It also comes in the full set and in excellent condition. No visible signs of wear. This bag is currently retail for $25,000 in the pre-loved market. If you remember my Birkin 30 is in the Togo leather and watched some of my other videos, you might know that Togo leather has become one of my favorite leather over the years and I really love the casual vibe of the traditional Return B25. So here are the Birkin 25 Salier and the Return side by side with the $9,000 price difference in the pre-loved market. Which one do you like better? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. It's my lucky day. They have another Birkin 25 in the Salier style and also in the beautiful gray color. It's from the 2021 collection as well. Epson leather, gray, palladium hardware. It also comes in full set and in excellent condition. No visible signs of wear. The Salier B25 is currently retail for $32,000 in the pre-loved market, which is $2,000 
thousand dollars cheaper than the gold Salier Birkin 25. I'm feeling might be because of the palladium hardware. Do you prefer the palladium hardware or you prefer the gold hardware just like me? Either way, it's a really beautiful bag, right? Here are the Birkin Salier side by side. Both are in size 25 with two thousand dollars price difference in the pre-loved market. Which one do you like better? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. You guys, besides the Birkin, do you spot anything else? Yup, this is the Lisa Constance Mini. This is my first time seeing it in person actually. This one is the Lisa Constance Mini which is in the size 18 from the 2021 collection. It's in excellent condition. It comes with the box and dust bag. As you can see, it's currently retail for $44,000 in the pre-loved market. Exotics are probably not for me yet at this stage of my life. I'm also not too crazy about the leather turned so yellow, but I can appreciate the beauty of the bag looking at the texture of the scales on the leather. This is how the inside looks like. It's a perfect match with what I'm wearing today and I always love a beautiful Constance. By the way, can you tell that I'm totally enjoying my new Hermes sneakers here? What do you think of the Lisa Constance? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. You may guess that another item I have been dying to see in person is the Chanel Pro Crush Square Mini. It's such a cutie. This Pro Crush Mini in the white color and lambskin goes for $6,500 in the pre-loved market. It's in the pristine condition, comes with the original box and dust bag. It's from the 2021 collection. One major reason I would consider the Pro Crush is because of the adjustable shoulder strap length feature allow you to wear your bag pretty much anywhere at any length you want. The regular retail price for a Pearl Crush Square Mini is $4,600. The rectangular Pearl Crush is $4,800, which is a few hundred dollars more expensive than the classic square and the rectangular mini. The golden ball here is where you can adjust your shoulder strap length. After after seeing this bag in person, I don't feel the lambskin is that sturdy and it also doesn't feel as puffier than the classic mini, at least in my memory. Unless the lambskin just has changed so much over the years, I honestly would prefer the classic puffier lambskin so much more than the lambskin on the Pro Crush. What do you think of the Pro Crush Mini? Do you have it or are you thinking to get one? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. Besides the bags, they also have some really beautiful jewelry. I hope you enjoyed all the eye candies as much as I did. Which one is your favorite from everything I showed you today? What's the next bag on your wish list? Leave me a comment down below to let me know and I will see you soon. Bye bye!